WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 195. NASDAQ up 108. S&P's up 6.5. Gold. Gold contract up 1390. 2431. Silver. Yeah, you know what this is? So this is important to understand, too, especially all you folks that are in the silver and gold market. You see what just happened here at 4 o'clock? I've explained this before, but this is important to understand. Because silver and gold close in the pit at 130, as soon as 4 o'clock comes, see these numbers here? Silver says 76 cents. Well, it's not. It's up over a buck. Gold says 14. It's up over $20. What they do is that they bring that back to the closing price at 130. That's what they do, which is confusing. Because then when you wake up in the morning, the same deal is happening. That sometimes what ends up happening, you can say that, okay, whether you're up or down, they're taking it from the 130 close, okay, even though it's still trading. Because watch, if I pull this up, this is crazy how this works, man. Oh, I see. They just did that. They did it all. They just, yeah, they close it out, man. They close it out. And the, anyway, it is what it is. Um, we take a look at it. You get a failure on price and volume on the indices. That's the bottom line. And it's pretty big, meaning that well, the, the price isn't big. The contraction of volume is. We did 33 million versus 58. You know, you hit the, the price point. The, the S&P's had a close of a 531.52. The Q's had a close over, Q's might have done it. Let's see if the Q's did it, because the Q's are strong, man. I think the Q's did do it. 454.91. Yeah, the Q's did it. So the Q's can go higher. There we go. Uh, you did 22 million. You know, you, you, you're into 34, but the bottom line, the Q's did not fail. You, you basically did the, you, you held price. We held price, that's for sure. Dow Industrials, that set up uh, a bearish engulfing and a big one, too. The, what the Dow did is that the Dow took out uh, about seven, is it seven trading days? What do we got here? No. Let's see this one here. No, the Dow took out three trading days. Well, I was thinking J.P. Morgan's the one that took out seven trading days. And that says a lot, man. You get the biggest bank in the world uh, coming down hard. We did 16.6 .6 million shares. Um, big number. So someone was definitely unloading that. And, uh, you know, bottom line is that uh, we go look at the GDX. They all held price, man. The bottom line is that by the end of this month, I got a feeling we're going to get that uh, Bollinger Band right across the whole gold market. 